Hey, this is Prak with IRPRMD. Today, we're going to do a special drone episode. And um, what my shop is doing now is we're actually going into advanced drone repairs. This drone that I have in front of me recently crashed, and what happened was there's an issue with the camera. I'm going to go ahead, ahead and turn this drone on for you, and I'll show you what the problem is. You can see the camera is jerky right now, and it is from a crash. And I'll show you how to fix this problem. Okay. Also, when you when you do crash this, I'm going to turn this off. All right. When you crash it, sometimes what you will experience is camera separation. You can see the gimbal itself right here actually separates. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is fix this. I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and fix this problem. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is turn this drone upside down. All right, so now that we have this flipped upside down, <coughs> the majority of the processing of this takes place in this board back here behind this gimbal where it separates. So what you need is with a fillet screwdriver, let's go ahead and take the screws out. So be very careful to put the screws, make sure you put them in the right place and slowly remove this. Okay. The biggest problem that we have is when it separates, this is the I, I call it the horizon sensor for the for the camera. It keeps the camera level. Uh what happens is when this separates, the there's a case right here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead we'll, we're going to go ahead and separate this carefully. Remove the logic board from the back. So you can see, be careful, there's a flex cable here and another flex in the bottom. So what we're doing is removing this from the back and there's a, there's a rod right here. And if you, if you can see closely, uh, you can see right here, there's actually a, a flat, uh, flat out part of the rod that controls the camera. What we want to do is make sure it, it, is, it is facing down and this piece right here you make sure if you can see there's a half cut out per circle, a flat base right here. So rotate that to even it out, okay? Even right there. And now go ahead and actually place that inside and go ahead by doing that, you're telling the camera, you're telling the gimbal that this is the position of, of rest, or of horizon. And so we're resetting it. So go ahead and put this plate back on. The small screw, the thinner screw goes on the bottom or middle. Okay. And so the side screws here goes in there. It's a good idea to have a magnetic screw driver so you can pick up these screws because these parts are tiny. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead and power on the drill now. Type once and hold down for two seconds. Okay, and now. Let's take a look at the camera. As you can see, that completely fixed the problem. All right, so again, all you have to do was just, after a crash, if it does shake around like you saw earlier, all you have to do is just open back here and readjust the horizon for the camera, okay? So then you have no shakiness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the the drone off and I'm going to show you something that I sell in my store that will really be beneficial. If you guys fly these things, you guys know how important it is. And if you look right here, there are flex cables back here. These flex cable controls the movement of these robotic arms here. And they are very thin. 
extremely sensitive to being torn. And there's two spots. There's one here and one facing here, okay? These are the two guards that we developed at iRepairMD to save you from spending $200 or $300 on the flex cable because they are very expensive. For some reason, you can't find it. So these are called cable guards. And you can get this from my eBay store. Uh, look below for the link. And you can get each for $20, top and bottom, or you can buy both for $30. Again, um, you can get it from my eBay store below. And I'll show you how to apply this. This here is the top guard. It has a little notch right here that actually goes in, that slides into this screw holes right here. So what you do is you go ahead and put the cable guard in. You see, slide it in. And be very careful. Make sure the flex goes in safely first. And then go ahead and slide the guard in. And you can see, slide into place, perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and install the bottom guard. Okay, the bottom guard is to protect this cable, which is down here, right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and install this one. Okay. I'm going to turn this to the side so I can see it. All right, so add a little pressure, and it should lock into the notch like that. So it locks in. So now you got both guard are protecting your flex cable and they're flying. They're extremely lightweight and they will protect you. In the event of a crash or you run into a branch, you won't lose your flex cable. Again, for 30 bucks, it'll save you $600 of headache. Um, and this flex cable will also be storable. So you, this guard, you can keep on. So you can keep this guard on the whole entire time, even when you're transporting, okay? So you can see the guard is in place, and I can go ahead and slide the camera guard on here, or storage guard, you can say. Everything is cut to the tolerance, so it doesn't interfere with actually the proper storage. Again, so you can see, now you can store your drone in a suitcase or auto box, not auto box, the uh, Kelgan case with the guard still on. Again, this is how you fix the issue with the um, the crash shake and also the flex cable guard. This is Prack with IPMD. Safe repair.